the gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ozzy, and I'm back with another banger. So today I'm gonna be doing something crazy, you guys. As you guys would have seen by the title, I am coloring my hair. And yes, I'm gonna be doing it myself. I've got so much hair, you guys. Like so much hair. I don't even know if these bottles will be enough but basically i watched a few people on youtube color their hair with this and it looks pretty lit it's the brand kiss colors it's a semi-permanent hair color and from what i've read it doesn't seem like it would damage my hair too much so it's got no ammonia no peroxide and no sulfates it's enriched with argan oil, olive oil, keratin, and collagen. So I got the color Cajun Spice. I actually don't know if my hairdresser is going to kill me for doing this, but I just thought I'd do something fun and I want to film it with you guys. If it turns out bad, I'm not going to stress out so much because it's only a semi-permanent color and it will wash away. So... Alright, so I got my cape on. I seriously just went hard. I went to Priceline and just got all these things. I probably don't even need it, but I just thought, why not? So I went and got this tint bowl. And then I got this tint brush. I'm just gonna brush, brush, brush my hair. So you guys, I haven't been to my hairdressers since May. It is now July, so that's why I've got heaps of regrowth. And my hair has faded really light. Because um, obviously my hair was bleached, so I could get it that orange color. This will be quite dark. This will be more on the ready orangey side. Um, and yeah, I just it's winter at the moment. I just want to change, have a bit of a change. Um, I want to give my scalp a bit of a break from bleaching. Because um, last time my eczema flared up really badly. So yeah, I just thought I'd do this and it's not that harsh. I'm just going to pop the product in the bowl. I really hope two bottles is enough for me because... Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh, that smells so nice. So it's made with aloe vera water. So that probably explains why it smells so good. So nervous. But, like I said, it's only semi-permanent colour, so... Ooh. Oh! Ah. <laughs> okay. It smells so nice though. Oh, it's such a nice color. Look. That's the color I want. Like the real orange color. I want to be a full ginger. This stuff's really runny, so be careful so it doesn't go into your eyes. Oh, I should really I should have really parted my hair first. Okay. I'm just gonna part it first. Ah. I'm gonna clip that back. I used to color my hair so much when I was younger. I used to be like a pro at it. I used to like bleach my own hair and everything. So I think I'm really liking that color though. That's the color I want. Like the color I have at the moment is like this brassy blonde color. Like I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah. Man, this is gonna take me all day. I just spilt it. This stuff's really runny. Do not do this. 
me like good furniture or anything because it seriously gets so messy like it's all over my arm right now and I'm getting frustrated thank god for this cake I would have been losing my shit right now if it weren't for this cake I love that color that is exactly the color that I was longing for I'm pretty sure it said to leave it on for 15 minutes. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it on 15 minutes, but it's probably gonna take me 15 minutes to do my whole head. I look so unco right now, but I guess it's the whole point of the video, right? Do it yourself. Oh, actually, this is actually working really well, and then I'll rub it in. Yes, okay, I've got the hang of it now. Okay, okay. I'm so glad I got two bottles. So I've done this quad of my hair. I love orange hair. Orange hair is like, I feel so like myself when I have orange hair. Okay, I'm just gonna part that quite a bit again. This bowl and brush definitely helps if you are thinking of doing it yourself at home I would highly suggest to do the same thing you guys I seriously don't know what I'm doing so please don't judge me if you're a hairdresser out there you're probably cringing so badly I'm sorry but <laughs> I'm a makeup artist, not a hairdresser. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna do that top bit. And pour a bit more in the bowl. Honestly, I think my hair I know I can make do with these two bottles, but in order for me to do it properly, I feel like three bottles is what my head really needs. Okay, so this side is all done. Oh my god, I'm actually getting through this quite quick. I seriously thought it would take way longer, but parting your hair really does help. Take the clips off. Okay, so this is what one bottle did. Um, you can see there's some bits where it's like sort of dried and I need to add more. Feel like yeah see how I need to do a bit more in there so I'm gonna add more but so far I'm absolutely loving this color and I love how it just blends in with my roots a lot better look at the color you guys it's so perfect this is the color Okay, it's sort of looking red over here, but I think it's because I've added more product. So I've got probably about like this much left in this bottle. I'm just gonna save it for another day because I think that's enough. Um, I don't know, I'm a bit worried it's gonna go too red, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush my hair and brush it so that it's all even I'm gonna rinse it out and I'll be right back five hours later he is a final look I absolutely love it I was sort of freaking out towards the end of the application because it was looking 
almost red but when I rinsed it out it was exactly how I wanted it I'm so happy with the results my hair still feels so healthy bouncy luscious and I just found a cheaper way to maintain the color that I want if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys